Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it's another day and another day of being sick. But I am definitely getting better. I am feeling better. I'm still extremely congested. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day out here. The sun is shining. And I decided to come outside and get some of this natural vitamin D and some fresh air. Uh, I'm definitely... I guess on the men's, hopefully. Knock on wood. It's been a long six days, guys. It's been a very long six days. Starting to get a little bit of that cabin fever. The weather has been absolutely gorgeous the last two days. Of course, when I'm down and out and sick, it's the best weather that we've had in months. So I decided today I'm going to get outside as much as possible get some fresh air, hang out with the kiddos because they've been missing. They've been doing a whole lot of uh, playing and stuff outside. I haven't had them cooped up in the cabin with too much. And uh, they've been missing their daddy quite a bit. So out here hanging out with them, playing with them. Um, they've been staying outside a lot here lately because the weather's been so good. So they've been able to run free and enjoy the beautiful weather just because i'm sick doesn't mean that they should be locked up in the cabin with me all day long but you could tell that they ain't that right eclipse huh you missed your daddy you got Ryder over there and we've also had a new development here midnight has been integrated to outside as well now you know they're they're all inside outside right um they kind of come and go as they kind of please, honestly. Um, but about three days ago, four days ago, uh, when I would open up the door, I could tell midnight kind of wanted to go outside and kind of see what was going on and do a little exploring. So whenever I would come outside to kind of get some fresh air, I would start uh, bringing her outside and kind of letting her enjoy it outside. And now she has fully integrated to loving to be an outside uh, her and Ryder um, actually play very very well they actually eat together very well um, wasn't that way to start with Ryder was a little uh, dominant and territorial I should say but I think they've all kind of kind of mingled well together at this point um, Ryder still or not Ryder but Midnight is still very shy um i can go up to her and pet her and all that other stuff but she's not the type that like rider that follows me around and all of that i kind of gotta go get attention from her you know, she's definitely that personality hopefully that changes a little bit as she gets more and more comfortable around here but she is definitely enjoying it she's enjoying her freedom um she will let me know when she's hungry though let me tell you she will not stop <sighs> i'm hoping that uh I'm on the last couple of days of this. I am fighting the urge because right now where I'm at, my mind is like, you got a Florida trip coming. You got a lot to get done before you go on that trip and all of that. So my mind is telling me like, let's go, let's go, let's go. But my body is telling me, whoa, boy, whoa. So I'm listening to my body right now. Um, I am itching to get at it. I'm walking around this sawmill right here that I wanted to start milling last Thursday before I got sick. And it's calling me, guys. It's calling me. I want to fire this thing up and get with it so bad. I can't explain to you how bad I want to fire this thing up and get this thing moving and get back to normal. But uh, I'm fighting it because I know it's risky that if I kind of hit back too hard, too fast then I can kind of really mess myself up and just, you know, set myself back weeks. So I don't have time to be set back weeks. So I really want to get healthy. I want to get to feeling good. That way I can make this trip to Florida. I really miss my kids and my grandkids. And this trip means a world to me. So I'm going to be smart about it. But I also need to get back to working. Um, YouTube is my job. Um, just like a nine to five job you know that everybody else has if you're not working you're not making no money 
and that's not good and that's definitely not the way i wanted to start the year out so i definitely got to uh get well and get back on it quickly but at the same time smartly so i want to uh, thank everybody for going over to my buddy tim's channel yesterday um, he reached out to me yesterday and he is overwhelmed with all the love and the support that you guys showed to him and i can't thank y'all guys enough um whenever i do a call to action with you guys asking y'all to go to support somebody that i care about y'all are y'all show out y'all show out y'all always do you're always there for me and the people that i care about and it means the world to me it means the world to me so does all the love and support and well wishes and prayers that y'all been giving me throughout this being sick i know a lot of y'all are worried about me and it really uh it really helps me get through it here on the mountain when i'm here by myself and i'm sick like this um margarita checks on me all day every day um she's very concerned um i have kind of held her back um i don't want her sick she has kids and stuff and uh, actually one of her daughters has actually been sick as well so she's been taking care of her so i haven't asked margarita to come here and all of that other stuff uh simple life reclaim country road cure and every other fam around here is constantly calling and checking on me and stuff but i'm keeping everybody at the distance um because i don't want to spread this i don't want to other people to get sick and and to have to go through what i'm going through um it is lonely i'm not gonna lie being sick up on a mountain by yourself away from everything uh, no modern conveniences and stuff it, it, it is uh tough sometimes you know when you're living off grid and you got to fill generators up and you know get propane and you know water and all that other stuff you know there's certain stuff that has to happen to survive uh, whether you're sick or not and i know a lot of y'all can relate to that um the world doesn't stop moving just because uh you you can't move you know what i mean so it is what it is you know if it was easy everybody would do it right but uh i'm tough uh <laughs> I don't feel too tough right now but i i'm tough and i'm always able to push through um when i got bronchitis last year um it took me down for two weeks and uh that was actually very humbling to me um i normally don't get sick like that i normally don't get sick that much it's just a new environment new area new new stuff to you know pollen and all that other kind of stuff you know i lived in florida a long time so the new environment the new weather changes all of that in florida there is no seasons here there are seasons and the weather's crazy it'll be like here tomorrow it's supposed to get into the 20s and freezing again and today i'm out here in a t-shirt and it's 70 degrees i mean that right there is will mess with your your internals right so my body is still adjusting to that i haven't even been here a year yet so it's just part of the process as my immune system kind of kicks up and gets better and everything like that, I'll get more adapted to it. Um, it's just part of the process. All I can do is make smart decisions um, and keep doing what's right for my body. So I have been uh, behind the scenes for the last, I'd say, four months at least. I have been taking a heavy dose of vitamins every single morning. I take zinc every morning. I take... Uh, like a thousand milligrams of vitamin C every single morning. I take airborne every single morning. I take B12 every single morning. I take vitamin D every single morning. Um, stuff like that every day. Uh, when I brush my teeth and all that other stuff, make my coffee and all that other stuff, the first thing I do, all my vitamins and stuff are right there where my coffee and my little makeshift bathroom area is and stuff like that. So I have been doing that, trying to be proactive to try to keep from getting sick. But it is what it is. There's a lot of nasty, nasty going around right now. And it's all over the world. Um, I've read y'all's comments. It's all over there. Like I said, my parents had the flu. My dad is uh, actually still sick right now. Has been sick for weeks. And uh, so I've been praying for him. He's uh, He doesn't handle colds and stuff that well. And... Uh, so he's been fighting it and it's kind of in his chest and stuff right now so 
send some prayers out to him. Um, my mom is doing better. My daughter was sick. She had the flu. My granddaughter was sick. Um, it's just, it's just in the air right now. There's so much nasty out there right now. And unfortunately it got me. Um, I do feel like I'm on the men's though. I really do. This is the best that I have felt. I'm sure y'all can tell my, my voice, I'm still nasally and stuff like that, but I'm sure y'all can tell that my voice is starting to come back and, uh, starting to feel like me again and uh i needed it i needed it up here um because it gets a little draining i'm the type of person that likes to stay busy i like to accomplish and do things and all that other stuff and uh to not be able to do that it, it really really affects me so but at the same time i ain't a spring chicken no more come on so I got to be smart with it. And that is something that I have definitely been in the last couple of years, really this past year for sure, have really been trying to listen to my body more and slow down. I've always been hard headed. Um, I've always just like, you know what, sweat it out, you know, get out there. You know, I come from a construction background and all of that. So, you know, no insurance, stuff like that. So you just got up, went to work, sweated it out. It is what it is. Well, I'm not 20 anymore, so uh, I want to be around a while. So at this point, I'm trying to listen to my body more. Let me see if I can get close enough to midnight here for y'all to see her. My oh, midnight, midnight. Nope. I start walking up, and she's gone. As y'all can see, the canopy is still destroyed in the back back there because. I had a whole bunch of stuff all around the canopies when I was redoing the cabin and I did get the cabin back right, but I still ain't finished getting everything up underneath there cleaned up. Uh, none of that stuff's going in the cabin. A lot of it's trash and uh, some of it needs to go into the shed behind me and also the building. So I still got to do that, but I'm not doing that today. Hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling a little bit stronger, a little bit, uh, a little bit one step further you know to feeling better and i'm gonna start doing start off by doing a little small things i need to do an oil change on the uh, generator um i need to do a tune-up on a couple of things you know little stuff that's not very strenuous and stuff like that and also like picking up the trash and stuff like that i did do that last night uh, i walked around eclipse means that i haven't been out here with them day in and day out like i normally am she has been a terror and uh, has gotten into some things, especially with all the stuff around all the canopies and stuff like that. She has just taken it upon herself that that's just all of a sudden her toys. So I did uh, I did uh, clean up a lot of that, a lot of her mess uh, last night. And I also opened up the doors because I have all the windows sealed and stuff in the cabin for winter right now. So I opened up the doors, turned the ceiling fan on uh, towards the evening yesterday and just got some fresh air in the cabin i also cleaned up the cabin from my week of being sick you know how it is when you're sick you got open medicine bottles and boxes everywhere and toilet paper and all of that kind of nonsense everywhere and uh so i cleaned all of that up i lysoled everywhere and just got the cabin feeling fresh and and clean again i think that's important um to kind of start getting that sick feeling out of the cabin right so i did all of that uh which definitely made for a better feel inside the cabin i did not sleep well last night i took some nighttime cold medicine and uh i just couldn't sleep i, I think because i've slept so much because the day before yesterday i slept all day and all night um, I only got out of my recliner maybe three times and I was literally just kind of going in and out of consciousness all day long. That's the day that I had the fever and I think I was breaking the fever and I slept so much and, uh, which is what my body needed. Right. So, um, I think it just affected me last night with not being able to sleep much. That's why I'm kind of getting a later start on this video today. I actually slept until about almost 11 o'clock today, which is unheard of for me. Um, but I didn't get to sleep probably until about two last night. I kind of tossed and turned all night long. So just giving y'all guys an update. I will be, uh, unless I take a turn for the worst, I will be back to recording on this channel. Um, 
regularly again um, because this one right here is not a physical type deal so I can kind of just talk and kind of give y'all an update of where I'm at and uh, what's going on and how I'm progressing that way you guys don't have to worry and uh, honestly it, it does good for me to also make these videos too because you know y'all y'all are my YouTube family right and uh whenever I make these videos and stuff I kind of feel like I'm interacting you know and uh, I don't feel so isolated out here by myself sick you know what I mean so it really does good for my mentals and I love reading all your comments so definitely leave a comment um, doesn't matter what the comment is leave a comment I enjoy reading them when I'm sitting there and I'm kind of weak and I, and I just ain't feeling like doing nothing y'all really uh, inspire me to kind of kind of stay positive and all of that so i appreciate it once again thanks for all the love uh, it means the world to me it truly truly does but i am excited guys we are getting closer to this florida trip and it's going to be a big trip there's so many things in the play in the back end of this trip right here um the main goal is to see my kids and grandkids but that's not the only purpose of this trip to florida uh, there are some big things that's about to happen here on the mountain that's going to change everything. So definitely looking forward to that. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm not going to give any details yet. I'm going to kind of save that for the trip. I'm going to kind of give y'all kind of updates as we kind of go through the process of everything that's happening. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel and my main channel come on homestead make sure that you do we are approaching 30,000 on the main channel we are getting close i didn't hit it at the end of the year last year like i wanted but we are getting close i think we're only about 1300 away 1400 away or something like that which is a huge milestone for me um it's kind of like one of those little check boxes i had a long time ago when i started youtube uh, 30k is definitely uh, something that I want to hit that would be a big milestone for me personally and uh and also this channel right here is steady glowing growing slowly but surely and uh I feel like my family's getting bigger and bigger and I love it but I think I'm gonna get off here guys it feels good to be out here in this almost 70 degree weather look at the skies it is so gorgeous today absolutely gorgeous it's good for the soul good for the soul a little vitamin d help get my strength back but until we see each other again guys come on hey keep it real